Hey, what's good, YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, the Wave Man, 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 man. We back at it like, huh? like, huh? Like, we back at it like crack addicts, man. You already know how we rocking, man. Stop playing. And what we doing today? We got a ski master slump guy, vocal tutorial, man. And let me let me stop talking, man. Let me just go ahead and tell y'all what we about to get into. Go ahead and give yourself a listen. Here we go. Big beats with me like Lonzo, uh, hit it in the morning like Alonzo, uh, you just ain't hit me like Pronto, uh, now I'm my son like I'm Rondo, uh, big beats with me like Lonzo, uh, hit me in the morning like Alonzo, uh, you just ain't hit me like Pronto, uh, now I'm my son like I'm Rondo, uh. You already know who it is man, it's your boy The Wave Man, I'm, I wanna thank everybody who's new to the channel, you know we've been getting a lot of love lately, you know what I'm saying, everybody wanna be Wave Gang, you know how we rockin' man. Just want to let everybody know, if you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and subscribe, because we don't like strangers, you feel me? So go ahead and be a part of this family. Be a part of this family. All right. Enough of the singing. But make sure y'all go ahead and follow me here on Instagram and Twitter. And make sure everybody thumbs up this video, because the more thumbs up we get, the more vocal tutorials that's coming y'all way. Y'all know we do it the best on this channel. Ain't no doubt about it. We do it the best on this channel. Wave gang type ish. You feel me? So, with that being said, let's get right into it. All right. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is get a fruity parametric EQ. Okay. We're going to want to get a high pass cut at about, on this one, I put 130, or about 130, 129. The reason being is because uh, when I was listening to his newest track, uh, I forgot the name of it, but. Uh, the joint he just did with Cole Bennett. Shout out to Cole Bennett. That video's sick. Um, you know, the vocal is very... You still hear the low end of his voice. You know what I'm saying? So I put it at 130 because it's still a rich low end. But, but also there's a rich high that makes the vocal cut through the track. You know what I'm saying? So we did we did a high pass cut at 130. And we also did um this technique that I like to do about at about 1500. It's what I like to... I like to call it air over the top of the vocal. It's a nice, gives you a nice presence. So I boosted a pretty good amount of, uh, at 15, 15K, you feel me? And also uh, what we did was we did another boost at about 3,200 just to get the presence. You get what I'm saying? When you boost in the highs, don't boost OD. We don't do stuff OD on this channel, you feel me? We do things nice. We do generous amounts, you feel me? Generous amounts, okay. So that's it for that, you know what I'm saying? We got a compressor, because his vocals, just like Lil Pumps and a lot of these other, I'm not even gonna call them that. A lot of these people that been coming up off of SoundCloud, you feel me? So, a lot of these people's quality has been getting a lot better, so we're gonna go ahead and put compression on it. We wanna keep it in a good leveled range, all right? These are the um, presets, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and copy that down if you want to. But basically, when you're doing a compressor, you want to think and keep in mind, okay, I want a fast attack so that it hits the vocal as soon as it comes through the chain. Fast attack, you know what I'm saying? You want the threshold to really be hitting. You almost want to be smashing the vocal so that it stays in a range, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't have it, it's going to be going everywhere. Like, your vocal's going to be up and down. But if you had that compressor on, it's doing the right thing. It needs to compress and keep it at a certain level. Next thing I did was I put a sound goodizer on it because, like I said before, it was a nice, rich high in the vocal that I heard when I was listening to the song. You know what I'm saying? So we used uh, the preset for A, and also we just went ahead and turned it down some because this is how it sounds if it's all the way uh, activated. Big beats with me like Lonzo, uh, hit it in the morning like Alonzo. Uh, you just ain't hit me like Pronto, uh, not on my sound like I'm Rondo. Uh, that sounds OD. That's overdoing it. You feel what I'm saying? So you want to go ahead, turn that junk down, you know what I'm saying? Just nice and generous, you feel me? Big beats with me like Lonzo, uh, hit it in the morning like Alonzo. Uh. It still cuts. You can hear it, you can hear it cutting still, but it's not as, as harsh on the ears as it is if it's all the way turned around. After we did that, we went and got a limiter because I didn't want to throw the gain up on the compressor. You know, sometimes when you start adding effects, the uh, vocal starts to come down or it starts to go up, you know what I'm saying? or the, uh, the beat starts to outshine the vocals. So basically I just got a limiter and I smashed the gain. I'm not even gonna lie. I went ahead and turned this whole knob up. I ain't gonna lie, this young product was like around here. I went ahead and was like, yo, they say go hard or go home. So that's the rule I applied, you feel me? So we went ahead and just 
did that so that the vocal would rise. So I'm gonna just play it and show y'all how this really affects it. It probably was around here. And if you watch this meter right here, you will see that it's still not peaking. Big beats with me like Lonzo. Hit it in like Lonzo. It is ain't hit me like Pronto. See what I'm saying? So we just went ahead and did that. And um, last but not least, for the main vocal, because we are going to go over the ad libs as well. So uh, I just went ahead and put the reverb on it. You know what I'm saying? Went ahead and used the Fruity Reverb too. We used the preset. Um, and basically, like I do in all my videos, I don't use buses in FL Studios. If I'm in Pro Tools, if I'm in Logic, I will use buses. But in FL Studios, I find it a lot easier just to put the effects in and just use these knobs right here to you know control the amount that the effect is taking on the vocal so with it all the way up big beats with me like lazo hit and i'm on like lazo it is and hit me like pato and i would say uh ski master slump god's vocals are one of the more dry vocals that i've heard so i never like to keep reverb off of a vocal but i went ahead and just turned it down you know what i'm saying just to make sure that it can sit well within the track Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to check out the ad libs. Ad libs are very important, especially for Ski Master Slump Guy, because a lot of times he's actually back there. Like, I'm not even gonna say this dude's a, a mumble rapper. My man's a ramble rapper. You feel what I'm saying? Ayo, comment down below. I just started a whole new ramble rapper. My guy, ramble rapper. Comment that down below. Let me know that y'all rocking with that ramble rapper. Just, uh, I'm, I'm playing. But. Basically, in the background, he likes to almost ramble sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So, in the background, here goes the ad-libs. You know what I'm saying? He does... This little ramble thing. I actually like it. This ramble John he'll do under the vocals. Like, Brazil, uh, you know what I'm saying? So basically let's get into those effects. So for this effect, we uh use the same actual EQ. So so go ahead and copy and paste that EQ. We use the same exact compressor. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna hold y'all. So what we did for the ad libs one is what we basically want to do is you want to make sure that the you want to make sure that the reverb is turned up a little bit more than it is in the main vocal just so it can sit a little bit further in the track you know what I'm saying you don't want it outshining your main vocal also when you're doing ad libs and just dubs you know whatever you're doing you want to make sure it's turned down a little bit more than your um, main vocal and ski mask song it's kind of wild because his backgrounds or his ad libs are very present you know what I'm saying so still turn it down just make sure it's high enough for you to clearly hear it you know what I'm saying and that's pretty much it guys um, I just want to make sure you guys understand that in order to sound like these people you have to almost imitate these people you're not gonna get somebody's quality if you don't sound like them so like I said it's wave gang you know who we are welcome to my channel Make sure you subscribe, download, thumbs up the video, comment who you want me to do next. Let me know if y'all rocking with the channel so far, man. I want y'all to follow me at Boy on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget. Also, I'm going to be doing SoundCloud reactions very soon, so I want you guys to go into the description. Make sure you guys follow those directions to be a part of this journey. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be playing some of you guys' music on this channel because I want to share my exposure with you guys because y'all show love to me. I'll show love back to y'all, man. Straight like that. Dunzos.